Praise God. It's an honor once again to share the Word of God with you. I had an incredible um, understanding of something that the Lord showed me, and that is the Word of God. In Mark chapter 4, we learn about the sower of the seed of the Word of God. And Jesus tells us, if you don't understand this parable, you're not going to understand any of the other ones. So the Lord gave me an incredible example of what we're talking about. This is a sea packet. Isn't it interesting on this packet, what do they have a picture of? Not the contents. If I were to show you a package of cookies, they're going to show you the cookies on the outside. This is a package of what is promised if you follow directions. This is the Word of God. It's filled with the promises, the privileges, and the blessings that are promised to us by God. However, also in this, we find out that this Word comes to us in seed form, just like this package of tomatoes. When I open this up, there's not going to be tomatoes in here. There's going to be seeds. And this is going to give me the directions on how I can get this. This word of God tells me, shows me the promises, the blessings, the privileges that are given to me as a child of God. It even tells me that I'm a child of God. But if we don't appropriate that word, if we don't plant it in the right ground, if I don't plant these seeds, they're not going to produce this. And if I don't plant the word of God, it's not going to produce the promises the blessings. I believe that God will reward the people who are really digging into the Word of God, going to church, learning the Word of God. And what happens is he gives you a revelation of what that word means. We are told to meditate on that word, which means to mutter it under our breath, speak that word, speak that word. You don't just go in the book of Revelation or the book of Leviticus and start quoting scripture. You have no idea what they are, but scriptures that apply to situations in my life. When I dealt with fear and depression and anxiety one time in my life, I found a scripture that says, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I kept saying that over and over and over till it became real to me. And I applied that to my life and the fear and the depression and the anxiety flees. Why? I planted the seed in the ground of faith and faith spoke and produced the promises. I want the blessings. I want the privileges. I want the benefits. I want to know who I am in God. I want to know my weapons. They're coming to me in seed form. Plant the seed. Plant it in your heart. Read the word. Go to church. Speak the word over and over again over your situation. And you'll reap the harvest in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Have a great day.